Hey YouTube, it's uh, ACB Telecommunications with Datacoms. Um, just doing another video in regard to DSL, ADSL, um, and obviously the fiber to the node, uh, fiber to the node uh, MBN network. Um, I'm just doing a video on how to speed up your internet connection. Um, a quick little tip, everyone can do this because everyone has access to this. So on the side of your house, you'll have something like this called a um, network termination box where you're copper line will run into this little pipe here and then it'll come through here and then the copper wiring will come out and then they'll be terminated um, and then they'll run into this little um, piece of mechanism here sorry about the noise in the background um, so yeah and then you usually get a um, this is this device here is actually called a DSL splitter uh, DSL central filter sorry and here is where all the filters this is pretty much all the mechanism that are in your little micro filters that you have but this is one big one for the main line so pretty much micro filters are actually useless in my house but um yeah so pretty much the two lines here that run directly out of this little copper line here are the incoming signal so it's the incoming DSL signal and then the cabling here where it says modem that's what runs into the house down into this little down into this little hole just here and into this wire just just here this wire here and that's where the wire will then be traced back to where my um, wall socket is and then that's where my motor router connects to um, little quick tip these two ports here where it says phone here here and even here if you have one if you have a uh, if you have well, for ADSL users, if you do not have any other wall sockets in your house besides the one where your modem router is connected to, and you connect all your phones to your modem router, and for you people who have fiber to the node, regardless if you do have other wall sockets, if you have fiber to the node, you're only going to have one valid wall socket, and that's where your modem router is. These three pins here are useless. Disconnect them because when that's where your phone line will be running into and that's where your um, uh, ring wire runs into and that causes interference on the line even though those cables aren't being active they'll still cause interference because they're still requesting a signal um, so do not do not any wiring like this do not disconnect these ones here these ones are for your line they're for your telephone and they're also for your um, I'm pretty sure these could be for your alarm too. It could be for anything. I don't know. I haven't traced this line yet. But yeah, disconnect your phone line once you get fiber to the node. And if you have BDSL without fiber to the node, uh, if you have BDSL without MBN fiber to the node, disconnect them anyway. And for your people who have ADSL and don't have um, a phone line, like just have internet and you don't use your phone, then just disconnect these two because that will eliminate interference and that will speed up your broadband um, also any external wiring that you see laying around this little area here on your DSL splitter that are pretty much not being used I'd recommend you um, disconnecting them and as I have I've cleaned mine up this is all messy once upon a time but I've cleaned it up so now I can see everything and everything is neat and the only wiring that are being exposed here are the ones that I'm using Okay, so disconnect these two or these three pins or wherever it says phone on your on your outside box it should look like this and that's it.